Baruch here with Gen Connect and Dr. Howard Coe. So we just saw that Mayor Bloomberg, uh, his effort to curb people's ability to drink very large sodas was rejected. It was ruled, you know, that, that he couldn't really affect that sort of change. What should the role of government be in forcing people to live healthier, encouraging them to live healthier? Well, obesity is such a major problem for all of us in society. We know that one third of kids and two thirds of adults are overweight or obese. So we need creative solutions, any innovative proposals possible. That particular proposal by the mayor was rejected by the court system, but we need elected officials and government officials and also community leaders all to put innovative solutions on the table so we can have a robust discussion. Of course, one of your big initiatives was really combating big tobacco and keeping children from becoming addicted to tobacco. Of course, tobacco is still a major issue, but there are, there's been some talk about whether big marijuana could be the next issue. What is the next big tobacco? Well, first I want to stress that tobacco is still the leading preventable cause of death, not only in this country, but worldwide. There's nothing else that's going to kill a billion people around the globe this century. And unfortunately, we have sort of lost focus on that because there's a misperception that somehow this problem is solved and it's time to move on to something else. We are concerned about marijuana for kids, and overall we're still very, very concerned about the vulnerability of human beings for addiction. So whether it's tobacco or marijuana or other substances, we have to be mindful of the vulnerability of people for addiction, talk about prevention for kids, and then talk about treatment for people who are caught in that cycle. The Affordable Care Act now allows new services for mental health and substance abuse, and that's a major advance that uh, people have not appreciated quite yet. Some 62 million people will now have access to uh, services for mental health and substance use disorders. So we need more attention to the mental health part of truly being healthy because being healthy means physical health, emotional well-being, and social well-being as well. Aside from never touching a cigarette, what's the number one lifestyle change that Americans should be making right now to live healthier lives? I think we need, obviously, people to be as close to the ideal body weight as possible. That's a lifetime commitment, starts at childhood. We also need to talk about health in broader terms through what we call a social determinants lens. So getting a good education, often translates into healthier lives. Keeping your neighborhood as healthy as possible often translates into public health gains. I like to say that health is not just what happens at the doctor's office. Health starts where people live, labor, learn, play, and pray. So we want the 21st century in public health to really bring in many non-traditional partners to keep people as healthy as possible. Really a holistic approach to health care. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Coe. Good. Thank you. And for more with Dr. Coe, be sure to check out GenConnect.